As for Waraka ibn Nawfal, he eventually chose Christianity and he studied its books and he learnt Hebrew and Aramaic and he rejected the religion of the people of the Quraysh and he was a convert to Christianity. Waraka, of course, we know his story that he was an old blind man in his 80s when the Prophet at the age of 40 heard Iqra bismi rabbik alladhi khalaq and Everybody knew that this was a learned scholar. He's an eccentric academic for the Meccan standards. He reads and writes. He's a genius. If you can read and write in Mecca, you're a, you're a tenured professor. You're a, you're a big shot there. Okay? He reads and writes. And he speaks Hebrew and Aramaic. So when Iqra came down, Khadija held on to the hand of the Prophet and said, let's go to Waraqa. Because he knows what's going on here. He knows this stuff. We're, this is not a part of our civilization. We've never seen this before. Let's go to Waraqa. And so Waraqa was the one who recognized, yes, this is what we've been waiting for. And subhanAllah, it's very interesting. If you ask the average Muslim who's the first convert, they say Abu Bakr. People jump over. No, the first convert is Waraqa. After Khadija, we can say the first male convert is Waraqa. Before Abu Bakr. Because even before the da'wah began, even before the Prophet realized he's a prophet, Waraqa understood what's going on. Because the Prophet did not understand, what did I see? What was this entity that came to me? And so Waraqa said, this is the same entity who came to Musa, who came to Jesus. This is Jibreel, this is the Namus he called him. So it's the, the secret companion. He's the one whom Allah sends to the Prophets. And Waraqa was the one who said to him, how I wish I were a young man. I've been searching my whole life for the truth. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? He must have spent 60, 70 years waiting for the truth. And now when he's just about to die, he hears the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So he regrets. He said, how I wish I were a young man now so that I could support you when your people persecute you and expel you. And this was the first shock to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. My people will expel me? My people are going to oppose me? And because Waraqa at this time knew the history of the previous nations, he said, yes, never has any prophet come with the truth except that his own people opposed him. So this is Waraqa ibn Nawfal, and Khadija says, فَمَا لَبِثَ Just a little while after this conversation, he passed away. The first Muslim who died in Mecca was Waraqa ibn Nawfal.